Cool guys, hope you all are having a good day, dressing well, and of course, getting stuff done. Now in today's video, I thought we would do something a little bit different. It's gonna be a bit of a story time, explaining how I got into fashion and also finding your style. But literally, my Uber driver is outside, so we need to go. Ooh. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Don't you worry, man. Thank you, though. First, we are going to Nikko Terminal 3. Uh, terminal 3, sorry. Oh, Terminal 3. So as I was saying guys, I'm gonna be telling you the story of how I got into fashion and how you can find your style. So I thought it would be smart to take us back to where it all began. Also, I'm on my way to the airport and uh, Uber driver just wanted to pull into Mickey D's to get himself something, so I'm just in the car, so fun times. So in order for me to show you where it began, first we need to get a flight. Well, I mean technically we need to get three flights, 30 hours of travel time. It's going to be fun. Let's go. I can show you how to find the things, babe. Let your feelings to the side and swallow up all your pride. It's to find the things, babe. The way you feel feeling inside, it's nothing that you should hide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it when you want to grab it. Getting ecstatic, baby, it's a habit. Being frantic, lady, don't you panic. This is where it all began. Well, not like in the car and stuff, in New Zealand and Wellington to be exact. And I'm here with my, what, yeah, I'd say oldest mate and best mate, Sammy. What's up? <laughs> and, <laughs> nice introduction. He's definitely probably seen my style uh, change quite a bit. What do you think, bro? What do you think of pants I'm wearing now? I'm wearing, guys, as reference, I'm wearing the uh, Izzy Miyaki. Uh, on placé pants. What do you think, bro? What do I think? Yeah, honestly. Knowing this guy, I just can tell you now, this is this whole outfit he's wearing now. My, I couldn't. I would say I can't imagine it, him ever wearing these clothes at all. <laughs> and you, this is the funny thing. The funniest thing about that whole thing is, and you guys know this. This is probably the most basic outfit. This is just basic. This is just black pleated pants and a hoodie. What we need to do is pause on this whole story time. And my parents don't actually know that I'm back. So we're gonna pause and we're gonna go surprise them right now. The other thing to note that I forgot to say is that my parents haven't seen me in about, it's been about two years, just under two years since I was last back, okay? Yeah, it's it's the same year probably then as you, eh? Yeah. Just under two years. So this surprise, if it goes well, I'm gonna sneak to the house, fingers crossed at home, Bro, so fingers crossed at home because I don't have a key. It looks like only one of them's home. So we're gonna try scare one of them now, or surprise, it's surprising. Um, but if it's my dad, don't expect anything dramatic. Um, I don't think his love's that deep for me. So I'm sneaking in. Now note, we have two dogs. So, two guard dogs. So I don't know how this is gonna go. What do you want? <laughs> Open the door. Hello. Hi, yeah. <laughs> how are you? Where's mum? Oh, here, right. she's out. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay, so as you see, that's how it went first with my dad. The unfortunate thing, he was in the office, so he saw me walk by. I mean, he was shocked and stuff. Uh, but my mum's coming back in about half an hour. So me and my dad have got this kind of plan. So I wouldn't say it's like fully uh, anti-climatic. Um, but, yeah, I mean, wait till my mum's one. This smells good, eh? What's, What's for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so as you guys saw, those were my parents. That's my mum, Lisa, and my dad, Gordon. Now, yes, they did bring me into this world. Uh, thanks, guys. Uh, but they are also quite irrelevant to the story and how I got into fashion. So guys, I was 14 years old when I first kind of became aware of clothing and fashion. That was the main time that I realized kind of like what you wear can change how you feel about yourself and also can change how other people view you. So at the time I hit up my friend who was kind of like into clothing and stuff as well, kind of looked up to him and I was like, bro, 
I need your help. So after begging my parents, they agreed to give me 300 New Zealand dollars. 150 of that was an early birthday present and the other 150 I had to work off with chores, etc. I remember exactly what I got. I got this Billabong sweatshirt in this kind of like dark navy blue colorway. I got these jeans by Lee uh, and they were this like light washed denim jeans, like almost a white colorway, these white globes and this white Nixon belt. It was, it was terrible, but I loved it. And it was my go-to outfit for any events, you know, like high school parties or events. It was that thing that you go, you put on and you're like, yes, like no matter, if the parties were back to back, you would wear the exact same outfit. Even though I would never ever wear this outfit again, I still to this day remember the way it did make me feel and the way it does continue to make me feel when I wear clothes okay. that I like and that I'm comfortable with. Get it pretty when we sipping on the Bombay. I give her rings, give her rings like an art, eh? Different things, different things coming my way. Baby, please, baby, please, who am I, say? From this point on, I was pretty much obsessed. I found it so interesting seeing what people wore on the streets and also like why they would wear them. And I was kind of like also obsessed with like finding new styles, finding new garments and like new clothes in general. Um, I tried to find inspiration from what people wore on TV to what rugby players like the All Blacks would wear, you know, in their spare time. Uh, and then again, people on the streets. I was just, I found it all so interesting at that point. So pretty much from like the age of like 14 to 20 uh, roughly was when I was just trying like anything and everything. Like I was just, I was kind of like just hooked. So I'd go to, you know, like the cool uh, stores in Wellington uh, pretty much every single weekend. And I would just go in to see what new stuff they had. And I would just try all these like items on. Don't get it like twisted or anything like that. Like I almost never purchased anything because I didn't have the funds I didn't have the money I just enjoyed going to be honest like going there and stuff is really what helped me find my style because I could just you know sift through everything try everything on and see what I liked and what I didn't like so that was a huge part of me kind of like figuring out my style and figuring like just learning in general more about fashion I've been up all night yeah. fucking you on I don't need to tell you she can me just right What I didn't really know at the time was that Wellington kind of just had, it was mainly just like a surfer and skater brands. So as much as I thought I was kind of learning stuff, knowing about fashion, I wasn't really. I was just knowing about surfer brands and skater brands and it was just that kind of overall streetwear uh, style. When I was about 21 was when I first started to feel uh, kind of limited. So even though this country is super beautiful, as you see, I did start to feel kind of like the limitations. Felt like I was in a box that I just couldn't get out of anymore due to just worrying what people uh, in New Zealand thought of me. I even remember one time um, I was wearing a cardigan, like literally, yes, a cardigan, and getting shit for it. I genuinely just didn't feel confident in New Zealand, um, especially around the people I was around in the spots where I was, uh, to, I didn't feel confident to wear what I wanted to wear. But obviously looking back at it, this was a, you know, an inner thing uh, that I actually needed to work on. It wasn't actually New Zealand at all, um, but obviously at the time I did not know that. So either way, with that in mind, that is really what kind of sparked my interest to kind of move overseas. I wanted to find a place that was a bit more diverse, had a bit more culture going on, you know, it was a bit more just open to people, I guess, being creative, being themselves. and. That's when I came across London. So London definitely opened my eyes to like the world of fashion and kind of just life in general. London's culture uh, definitely gave me like the confidence to try new things, push the limits and feel comfortable doing so. Now, again, don't get me wrong. I know my style is still quite basic. It's quite minimal. We're just like a dabble of that kind of like extra stuff. But again, from a kid from New Zealand who wore just a cardigan and got ripped on, uh, my confidence definitely grew while being in London and I stopped caring what other people around me thought about what I was wearing. Now don't get me wrong, New Zealand, Wellington, beautiful. As you can see, it's absolutely stunning and it is still to this day one of my favorite places 
like on earth to go to. But what London offered and what I needed was more people doing similar things, you know, pushing the limits, not caring what other people thought. And that's really what helped me grow. So now when I do come back to this place that honestly hasn't really changed, I'm able to walk around wearing whatever I want. I feel confident of doing so. Standing out here holding a camera, you know, tripod, people looking at it, it's okay because it doesn't matter. And all that matters is how I feel, how I feel about myself. And I've got to give credit to London and the culture of London uh, for really kind of like helping me with that. But like I said, London doesn't look like this. This is New Zealand. Show you how to find the things, babe Put your feelings to the side And swallow up all your pride It's to find the things, babe The way you're feeling inside It's nothing that you should hide, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. After about roughly six to eight months of being in London, I decided to finally start a fashion YouTube channel. Uh, and even though I didn't really know much about fashion, I did know that I liked clothing. And then pretty much for the last two years, I've been posting on YouTube, you know, like posting what I like to wear, how I like to style things, and also along the way, uh, actually learning a lot more about fashion. That leads us to this present day right now, doing YouTube full time based around fashion. And I have to say, I honestly love what I do. It is definitely a lot of work goes into it, but I absolutely love it and I love constantly learning about it. And what makes it even better is having you amazing people uh, follow the journey as well. And on top of that, the fact that you guys learn stuff from me as well is just crazy. And it's, I'm, it, it, extremely, extremely grateful for it. All of that is so amazing, but to me, the most amazing thing about this whole journey up to this point is that I no longer question what I wear. I no longer, I no longer seek someone else's approval for what I wear and I don't worry about what other people think of me. And I've been able to take that, whether it be with clothing and apply it to all aspects of my life now. So anything I do, I ask myself the question, how does this make me feel? And if it makes me feel a good type of way, I do it. So that's kind of my story of how I got into fashion. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna munch on these shapes and then I'm gonna give you guys a few quick bullet point tips of how you guys can find your own style. Let's go. So first off, confidence is key. You need to be confident in yourself to wear what you actually want to wear. People are gonna judge you either way, whether you play it super safe or go just all out super extra, people are gonna judge you either way. Some people will like it, some people won't. You cannot please everybody. So you may as well dress the way you want to dress and that you are happy with yourself and just let people judge you either way. Number two is Try new things. Trial and error is a massive part about finding your style. You need to experiment with different clothes, different brands, fabrics, materials, shapes, all of that. This will really help you figure out what you like and what you don't like, what suits you and what you think doesn't suit you. Never be afraid to try something new and always just be open-minded. That is how you're going to continuously, continuously, progress it's okay to try something and figure out oh i do not like it at all because at least you tried you had the courage to go out there and try something new and yes i dyed my hair for this little clip because i can't talk the talk i need to also walk the walk Number three guys is definitely educate yourself. Learn about different shapes, learn about different colors, different materials, you know, learn what suits different body types. And if you're a male, don't be afraid to learn about female fashion and vice versa. If you're female, don't be afraid to look into and learn and understand men's fashion.
my fourth and final tip is there are no rules use everything you learn as guidelines but not as like set rules when it comes to fashion there are no rules it's so individual and honestly my advice is just stay true to yourself and wear exactly what you want to wear despite trends despite what anybody else says really just use fashion as an expression of yourself and how you feel and then we have it guys that is my story of how i got into fashion and also just a few tips uh, that i've kind of learned that helped me along the way to find my own style so hopefully you guys can take away uh something from this video i know this video was a little bit different a little bit of chopping and changing but it was my way of having like a chill video and being able to show you guys uh a bit of new zealand as well obviously it's where i'm from uh and i do really like this place so hopefully you guys enjoyed some of the scenery as well other than that that is the video done and dusted the last video of 2019 so i just want to give a huge honestly amount of love and shout out to all of you guys for really just messing with me uh this year it's been it's been truly great so i wish you guys well i hope you all had a great christmas i wish you guys an amazing new year's and i hope you all smash achieve and just have an insane 2020 i just kind of heard how that sounds i hope you guys all smash <laughs> you get what i mean i hope you guys smash 2020 uh push yourself and stay true to yourself and just achieve your goals and ultimately i hope you guys are just happy in 2020 um so yeah that is it finishing up i thought it would be smart in this beautiful uh just location just greenery so yeah other than that guys keep dressing well and i'll see you fellas in 2020 Peace.